Hi, I'm Rich Harris and welcome back to my Asian Bite series. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to make a traditional pad thai. Now this is a noodle dish that's been replicated millions of times the world over and is often ruined as a result, but this version is the real deal. First thing we need to do is make the dressing. What I've got here is some tamarind. So tamarind is a type of, sort of sour seed pod with a kind of pulpy exterior. So what I've done is taken the tamarind and then just soaked it in warm water for about 10 minutes. And I'm just gonna pass it through a sieve just to kind of catch all of those seeds. And we just wanna leave those seeds behind. They're not edible, way too crunchy, or break your teeth. So to that, I'm gonna add some palm sugar. We've got our sour and now we want our sweet. So a good two to three tablespoons of palm sugar. And just give that a stir because we wanna to start to dissolve this and mix this together. To that I'm going to add some fish sauce and this is where our salt comes in. This is all the seasoning that we're going to use. It's got a really ripe pungent flavour and on its own quite frankly it stinks but it's a great flavour enhancer and it really brings the whole dish together. So that's what we're looking for. A good thick dressing that's going to add loads of flavour to the dish and give it that really traditional kick. So put that to one side and we can start to build our dish. You can see I've got all of these ingredients laid out in front of me and this is basis behind any great noodle dish or stir fry. The start and the preparation is kind of like the marathon, but the cooking is the sprint finish. But for a full list of ingredients, check out the description box. So the next thing we need to do is heat up some oil in a wok. This wok is now really, really hot. It's been set over a high heat. You will add a good couple of tablespoons of oil. The so oil's smoking hot, straight in with the shallot. And then keep it moving. You want to fry really fast and just don't let anything catch or burn. And use the full width of the wok as well because the heat's going to displace all the way around. You don't want everything just to gather in the middle and stew. You want it to fry around the outside. Next thing go the prawns. Now traditionally this dish would be made with dried prawns because it's made away from the coastal areas. But you get exactly the same flavour and it's a bit more luxurious. As soon as the prawns have started to turn pink, shove everything to one side and then grab a couple of eggs. I'm using duck eggs because they're a really, really nice, rich flavour, and that's traditionally what they would use in Thailand. If you don't like duck eggs, just a normal hen's egg will do. Crack these in. Break the yolks. And just start to kind of scramble it round a bit. As soon as the egg starts to firm up, add the noodles. These are just rice noodles that have been soaked in boiling water for about eight to 10 minutes, just until they start to soften, but not until they're cooked through. So add them. The noodles are heated through. Time to add our dressing. So we've got two really traditional herbs here. These are garlic chives, a really pungent flavor, lovely oniony flavor like you'd get from a normal chive, but quite a strong kick of garlic as well. If you can't find these or get hold of them, then just add a clove of garlic and some regular chives. So I'm just going to really finely chop these, ready to go in at the last minute. So the other herb that goes into this dish is something you may not have seen before. It's called sawtooth coriander, because you can see from the corrugated edges. Again, if you can't get hold of this, regular coriander will do. So just scrunch up the leaves and roughly chop them. So this is another really traditional ingredient that's found in Pad Thai. It's called chi po, a salted turnip. And it just adds a really nice salty kind of kick. So salted turnip goes in. And this is fried bean curd, which adds a really lovely texture to it. So next up, a load of roasted peanuts. These are just normal peanuts unsalted that have just been roasted in the oven and then bashed up in a pestle and mortar. I'm going to add nearly all of them and just hold some back to scatter over the top at the end. Give these a good stir through. This is what adds that really traditional nutty flavour. A nice bit of texture and crunch. And now it just smells incredible. Last thing is some bean sprouts. So I've just turned the heat right down, add a good large handful of bean sprouts. So the warmth of the noodles are just going to kind of wilt the bean sprouts down. Take the wok off the heat and add your herbs. Just 
just stir these through. You don't want to cook out the herbs too much, literally just want to kind of warm them through. It's going to bring out all their lovely perfume, but without wilting them too much. The Thais often serve raw vegetables, and these are snake beans. Really interesting looking things, really crunchy, and actually taste very much like our green beans or French beans. Just trim the ends off, get rid of them, and then just cut them into little bite-sized pieces. So this is all ready to serve and it just smells incredible. If you love dishes like this and want to see more like it, click the subscribe button, follow us on Twitter, or come and find us on Facebook. Just serve up a good, generous portion of the noodles. Make sure everyone gets a prawn. Don't want anyone fighting. A few snake beans on the side, just to add some freshness and crunch. A few fresh bean sprouts, just for a nice bit of contrast, and top it with some crushed peanuts. And some of this, this really packs a punch. This is Thai roasted chilli powder. Don't be shy with this stuff, it's great. And then finally, just a little squeeze of lime juice over the top. And there we have it, my pad thai. Now if you enjoyed this recipe, I look forward to seeing you back in the kitchen for more episodes of my Asian Bites series. Cheers. Mmm, that is great. <laughs>